Yes, yes, I'm still fiddling with clicks every now and then. The benefit of physical QWERTY for stuff involving people and names and passwords, plus having the whole display available all the time, are sometimes enough to outweigh the physical bulk and weight. Anyway, I was trying to get to grips with assigning new keyboard shortcuts to, well, to actual iOS shortcuts. For example, I wanted some kind of a command key A to start ambient sound, you know, distant waves or whatever I'd set for going off to sleep, and some sort of command Q to turn ambient noise off again. And I noted a handy iOS shortcut photo send, which takes a photo and then fires it off immediately via iMessage. So I wanted to make that, well, some sort of command S would be handy. Baby steps. The thing I was missing was having to go into settings, accessibility, then scroll all the way down to uh, keyboards and typing, and then allow full keyboard access here turned on. And then go into commands on that screen and then all the shortcuts on the phone will show up at the bottom. You can tap any you want and then use the appropriate command key. Let's call it clicks A and it appears. Tap on done and I am done. And then from anywhere at all, clicks A starts, starts wave playback. Nice and soothing. And then clicks Q stops them again. You get the idea. Definitely not obvious anyway. Well, not to me. Hoping this helps someone else with clicks.